25-year-old Blake Davis is suing fellow motorist Michael Kerner for causing an accident when he was driving in the median. Each of you claim that the other is responsible for an automobile accident where both of your cars were either totaled or very badly damaged. Mr. Davis, tell me the date of this accident. February 21st, 2018. What time? Uh, around 5.09 p.m. Where had you been that day? I had been working. What are your hours of work? I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. every Monday through Friday. And who do you live with? I live with two roommates. And I assume you were on your way home? Correct. And where had you been that day, Mr. Kerner? Uh, I was coming home from work. I had been at work all day, from 8 to 5. And where were you going? I was going home. You take the same route every day? Uh, basically. OK, sir. So you can go over there? Yes, ma'am. Explain to me, your car is the? Uh, so I am the P car, and Mr. Kerner is the D car. OK. What I was trying to do was take a left to go eastbound. You were crossing over traffic. Correct. I had to wait for the westbound traffic to stop for me, make a gap, so that I could then proceed into the median lane and then merge into the eastbound direction of traffic. How many? There's five lanes total. And this is rush hour? Correct. You were coming out of where? So my work is located right here. So that's a parking lot? Correct. So you were coming out of a parking lot, and you were going over two lanes of traffic, according to you, that stopped for you. Yes, ma'am. The defendant was in the third lane of traffic. Is that a turn lane? Ma'am, that is a median lane. Is there a solid line? Yes, ma'am. You have a photo of that? Yes, I do. I'd like to see it. Does that line become a non-solid line down at the end of the street where you can make your left turn? Yes, ma'am. In the police report, it is recorded as 575 feet away from the actual crash. What's on Kent Lane? Would you like me to go back to the yes. graph? Yes. Tell me what is on Kent Lane. Uh, Kent Lane to the left? Yes. Um, so right here would yes. be a Fred Meyers grocery store, which is where he was trying to go, and it says that specifically in the police report. Now can I see the police report, please? Yes, ma'am. Attached to the uh, police report are two witness statements that are... Did your insurance company pay for the metal gate that you went through? Um, they settled for a 50% claim because my insurance company deemed that I was 50% responsible. So they settled with them for 50%. For the gate? Yeah, for the, at Nelson's RV, yes. Yes, ma'am. I assume your insurance company did not. My insurance company deemed Mr. Kerner 100% responsible. No, I don't care what your insurance company, that's... A, Correct. I don't care His what they did. Company. I'm asking you whether your insurance company paid the other 50% of the gate. No, ma'am. Not that I know of. Okay. Mr. Davis, if Mr. Kerner was going to make a left turn onto Kent Lane, what you're suggesting is that because there's a solid line there, he should have waited until he got further up to make his left turn. What I'm suggesting is he should have waited until it was open to get into that turning lane. What do you mean the... until it was open? It was open according May to I? your diagram, yes. It was open according to your diagram. So turning into the lane up until this point to where the yellow line stops. The median lane where he was going to make his left turn into Kent appeared to be clear. What you're telling me is there's a solid line that he should not have crossed where he did. You said that's a solid line. That's the same solid line that you were crossing. Yes, ma'am. I guess maybe I just misspoke. But am I correct? There's a solid yellow line there. Yes, ma'am. You're correct. OK. So you were crossing over a solid yellow line. Yes, ma'am. To make a turn in traffic. And you, Mr. Colonel, were going a little too fast. I, I could have been going slower. Um, yes. The... And you, Mr. Colonel, were going a little too fast.